I'm Alex Frost, I've lived in Folkestone all my life. I've been skateboarding most of my life since I was about 13. I am first and foremost an artist, also a project officer for Folkestone 51. The new multi-storey skate park opening up in Folkestone. I got my job at F51 through originally being in talks with the team about potentially doing some artwork there. Um, as time went on, a job role popped up that seemed quite fitting, so I applied for it, managed to get the role, and I still do all the stuff I did before art-wise, so it just perfectly feeds into each other. Skateboarding is hugely significant, I mean, it literally affects everything I do, the art I do, that sort of led to connections and possibilities that made events like peer pressure more than possible. My name's Dan Joyce, I'm a filmmaker and I'm a skateboarder and I've just moved to Folkestone. Immediately, as soon as I got here, I met all these other skateboarders and I've instantly got a network of friends. I made a documentary about Long Live South Bank and skateboarders saving the space and Alex Frost got in contact with me and was like, would you mind doing a documentary about the skate scene here in Folkestone? I was like, I'm actually moving down there. I visited some friends who live down here. They brought us down onto the Harbour Arm and, you know, there was lots of stuff going on and we were like, this seems to be like quite a happening place. There's a lot of people here who were willing to try something new that hasn't necessarily been done before. Coming up with creative solutions for problems of towns have, you know. Yeah, I'm interested in the skate scene of Folkestone and what could possibly happen here. And I met up with Alex and we were talking about the skate park and what we were going to do. And then we walked down here to the Harbour Arm all of a sudden it led into these crazy ideas we were sort of throwing at each other and I've been keen to do something down here for quite a while. It's really quite a cool thing that we've got this converted abandoned railway station and it's very easy for us to sort of forget how sort of quirky and different that is. It brought back that feeling of skateboarding in the 80s in Venice Beach. When I came here I was like oh this could potentially have the same sort of feeling. I hope it shows that everyone's able to use a space from all different walks of life. When all these new people are travelling to folks and they sort of see all these ramps and bits set up there, it must add another factor to it. There's a few people I've spoken to after peer pressure who said they or their partners have now considered moving down here or want to move down here, which is crazy that just sort of one trip can provide that much influence over someone. Folkestone's definitely got the potential to be one of those hubs and that's what excites me, the fact that hopefully in the not too distant future there'll just be a lot more opportunities here for young people. I'm not going to sit here and say I've always loved Folkestone with the art bits I was doing and as I got the new job at the park all of a sudden I became very pro Folkestone and very proud of where I'm from and I sort of can't imagine moving away now. It just feels nicer to be here and there's just so much more to do. I think you'd be silly to leave Folkestone. I think there's so many new and exciting things that are only just starting get fully involved with the community and see what opportunities you can make for yourself.